Podcast downloads may be the most common metric for judging a show's success, but there are new tools in Apple Podcasts and Spotify that offer a deeper look at your listener engagement. Until recently, podcast creators had very limited information on their audience. Data included how many downloads an episode received, the country where it was downloaded, and the device or app used to listen. This data varied widely across podcast hosting companies, so a standard was put in place by the IAB, or Interactive Advertising Bureau. But even with a standard for download metrics, companies are trying to game the system and buy download numbers to inflate their prominence. So what metrics should you be watching to judge the success of a podcast? We're going to look at three key metrics to judge the health and success of your show, plus two bonus metrics that will be great to provide sponsors. The most important metrics today, and the one that can't be bought or faked, is engaged listeners. Both Apple Podcasts and Spotify provide this metric and is different than a download number. In Apple Podcasts, an engaged listener means they have listened to 20 minutes or at least 40% of an episode or more. This shows that a listener is invested in the content and consuming a good portion of the episodes. Apple also provides the plain listener number, which counts even when someone listens to just a second of an episode. Spotify makes this distinction by providing a starts number versus streams. When someone listens to at least 60 seconds of an episode, it counts as a stream. Both Apple Podcasts and Spotify also provide retention graphics that shows the percentage of listeners that drop off after a certain point in the episode. This is great to show how the format and flow of a show keeps listeners engaged or possibly doesn't appeal to them. Another key metric that Apple Podcasts and Spotify provides are followers. These are people that have tapped the plus icon in their app to get notified of new episodes when you publish. Often you will find the follower number is much higher than the actual downloads and engaged listener number for any given episode. This means your episode title, description, and overall topic is key to getting the followers to click and listen to a new episode. Try changing up how you title your episodes and see which titles encourage more listeners. Also keep in mind that podcast episodes may turn up in search results, so keep search engine optimization or SEO in mind when creating your titles. Finally, keep an eye on your chart position. Apple Podcasts is still the most used app for listening to podcasts, and they update their chart positions almost hourly. Apple determines chart position by engaged listeners and popularity of an episode over strict download numbers. Your position within your genre, both for the show itself and individual episodes, is a good indicator of its success. You can also sign up for a free account with Chartable, which tracks your chart positions in multiple countries and can send you a weekly summary of your reviews. Also, where are your listeners? One of the few pieces of data you can see in most podcast hosting providers are the countries where listeners are downloading your podcast. While gaining listeners anywhere is good for your show, when trying to book sponsors, many will ask where your listeners are located. Sponsors that deal with physical goods may only ship to certain countries, like the United States and Canada. If you can show that 70% or more of your audience is listening from countries they ship to, there's a better chance they'll sign on for an ad spot. If your show has a large audience in a different country than where you live, that's also helpful information. When you access the podcast charts, say in the Apple Podcasts app, it will display the rankings for your country. You may be climbing the ranks somewhere else and not even know it. Another good reason to use a service like Chartable that provides data for all countries. Finally, listener demographics. It's helpful to know the demographics of your listeners when talking to sponsors. Unfortunately, there's no way to get this kind of data without asking your audience directly. You can create a simple Google form and link to it in your podcast episode notes, then ask your audience over several weeks to several months to fill it out. Include fields for age, gender, income level if you feel comfortable asking that, and possibly an open field for their general interests. You can also use a free service like PodTrack to view better analytics for your podcast, and they provide a listener survey form that will integrate alongside your other download metrics. Depending on the sponsor, demographic information can help sell your audience to a particular brand. So those are some of the key metrics you should consider when looking at your podcast numbers. If you have questions about anything we talked about, leave a comment below this video. We'd love to answer you there. And subscribe to the Riverside channel. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss a video. And we have great content on making a video podcast, how to automate your podcast production, and a ton more. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.